Hello everyone and welcome back to Corona's Place Tales of Bursaria. In between episodes, I actually headed back to Mount Killer Badunkadunk and tried to grind out some dire encounters. Sadly, I didn't know, I didn't remember anyways, that dire encounters were based off difficulty, so I didn't run any, run into any for like the longest time until I switched back to hard, and then I finally got one. By that point, I had gained, I think, like four levels for Velvet and three for everyone else, so I decided to stop. Um... I did gain some skills for my weapons. These are not the ones I gained skills for. Uh, actually, probably some of them I, I did. But everyone's back to their pure, pretty much, powerhouse equipment that I had on prior to the end of last episode. I might actually, you know what, I think I actually did go ahead and uh, upgrade a few weapons and armor to kind of give myself a little bit of a boost. Uh, also, my expedition had came back a few times. I might actually be almost done with this one. Let's take a look at the... Actually, I think I am done with this island, except for unlocking the new area. These are the rewards. We'll go ahead and take a look at the treasure that Scout I got. Scout ship setting sail. Uh, treasure. Which one was it? It was... This one? There are lilies blooming inside. No. I found something, I swear. This? Hmm. Enchanted with an art I don't recognize. Yes, it's this one. A, bra a bracelet unearthed from the Kityan Acapello. The band is said to amplify the wearer's abilities, but also curses them with an insatiable sweet tooth. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, but I say hands-on experience is worth a thousand pictures. Go on, El Eleanor, try it on. S certainly not. Who knows what art might be upon it? Let sleeping dogs lie. That is the better wisdom. Ha! Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Worry often gives a small thing a big shadow, am I wrong? In this case, yes, curiosity killed the cat. Better safe than sorry. You're dull as a... You're dull as dish water. Throw caution to the wind. You can't make an omelet without crack, uh, breaking a few eggs. No. Repentance comes too late. Too much of a good thing. Gotcha. Just say it was a good thing. Play with fire and you'll get burned. Right, Eleanor? Oh. Oh, drat. An honorable defeat is better than a dishonorable victory. Not quite. Even Eleanor sometimes nods. You can write that one down. <laughs> oh, okay. Dope. So now we just need to unlock the next area. But before we do anything else, including going back to Port Zexan, let's go to the... I don't know if it's going to be the last one, but let's go to the Armored Quarter Class 4 Zone. Um... Which ones are we missing? Because these are all based off an enemy type, right? Well, dragon obviously is one. I'm not sure if they're going to have a dragon one, but that would obviously be one. Um, what else? There's fiend. Winged. Is there a normal one? <laughs> Just a neutral type one? Huh. Maybe there'll be mixed ones. I don't know. What is that little box over there? Has that been there the whole time? Ah, uh, maybe. Armored Quarter. This is actually a very nice looking island. It looks like it's autumn here. I enjoy it. I like the foliage. It's beautiful. Uh, any cat chests? I'm assuming there's at least one. And I think I'm probably not going to be able to open it if... Yep, yeah, there's one. No. How do I bring... Oh, yeah, 110, yeah. I barely ever bring this up on purpose. <laughs> this little help screen. So there's no way we're going to be able to actually open this. Oh, God, no. But maybe in the future. Hmm. We can always dream, right? I wish there was a way we could farm them, like, experience. I mean, there is a way we can farm them... Fairly easily, even just by going back to a few places that have them and exiting and entering that area, etc., etc. But I mean, like, maybe like an accessory that when you have it equipped, all galled becomes cat souls or some other conversion, because that would probably be broken as all sin. Yes, summon the demons. Lava Atlas. She Ow. Yeah, you're one of the, like, ones we just fought? Maybe. I don't know. 41. That guy did 41 damage to me. Call, call me surprised, right? Jesus. 
just kind of hoping we would be a little bit more, like better off. I mean, these guys aren't gonna be hard. Oh, okay, it might be a little bit hard if I let myself get hit. Oh yeah, Magumi learned explosion, and I now love her. Like straight up, she like just destroys people with those things, and I'm fine with it. It's as good as when it was used by that damn Succubus Queen. She like has all the good spells. She has that milky, milky or black hole one. She has explosion. She's gonna learn indignation next. Is that that's not indignation? That's not indignation, right? No, air. Explode. Okay, it's not explosion, but explode. Actually, you don't have... Is Lafayette set the one with the lightning? Holy lightning design? Okay. Fuck, if anyone's gonna use the indignation, I guess it would be him. Ooh, what did I just kill? Oh, bug? I like pressed A and I did a somersault in someone's face and killed it. There's the armor. There's a... Twisted Priest? Oh, it's not a Twisted Sister. Surprise, though, I didn't know... Well, okay, I mean, to be fair, it's not like I remember every enemy type of uh, Karen. But I'm surprised that's what an armor type looks like. And again, one of those uh, bugs was an armor type, it looked like. Though I've seen those before, because I think there's like a steel type bug in... Pokemon that uh, you know, doesn't really look like it's steel. Ooh, you guys are pretty. Unless you hit me, then you're mean. Don't kick me. Uh, at least I blocked it. That's good. Get that stun in. Another stun. Chain stun him. It's always annoying in PvPs. Chain stun. And fighting games. Though, like, corner fucking uh, fighting games is a lot worse. I think, anyway. Then again, to be honest, I don't play that many fighting games anymore. I played Street Fighter 2 recently, and that was because, like, I got a Super Nintendo card of it, and I was like, I'm gonna, you know, play this. It was fun. Very simple. Compared to, like, oh, okay, Street Fighter is always simple. But, like, it's just super easy, I guess. I don't know. I haven't played in a while. I guess the only, like, modern fighting game I played, probably the Dragon Ball games? No, 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 I played Injustice in the latest, uh, not the latest, but the, the first remake of the Mortal Kombat, so I played those. I, I might pick up that new Dragon Ball Z game, uh, Fighter Z, or whatever the hell it's called. That seems pretty good. You guys? He has dragons. Dragon, dragon, rock the dragon. Man, we ended you guys. Level 66? We are stunning them a lot. Mm, no, it actually is not hard because I did the dire kind of thing. I was like, maybe I didn't change the difficulty. I'll check it after this. It always makes me feel better when I feel like I'm doing. Uh, well, to check the difficulty, difficulty and be like, oh, no, okay, I am just doing better than usual. Ooh, three of these guys, huh? Shouldn't be too bad. Probably. <laughs> you know, I shouldn't get too cocky. I got cocky before the Malkyo, Malkyo fight, and then he beat the freaking hell out of me. I'm scarred from that encounter. As much as I was scarred against the Succubus Queen. That's spellcasting. I, I was told to use, like, Magilu's spell absorber in the future. I've tried using her before, and I just can't get the spell absorber to work properly, or I'm using it too soon. I, if I practice with her, I probably would get it, but... Like, every time I have tried, thinking that it would be help, helpful... Oh, don't die. Don't... Alrighty. Might as well eat this guy's butt in a little bit of health. I'm about these guys. I definitely hit a ton of bricks. Oh, 
my god, I thought that flower was an enemy. I was like, I've never seen that before. No! Why? Eleanor, are you gonna revive me? Looks like you're gonna try. But everyone's like attacking you, so just use an item. Thank you. It was disgraceful. You're right. I mean, god damn, Velvet. You know how many enemies we fought that were way stronger than you guys? And to be fair, it wasn't exactly your fault. I mean, it was. You were the one that got stunned and you were the one that died. But I, as your controller, you know, actually deserve all the credit for you dying. But RNG's a bitch sometimes. Explosion. God damn, dog. Such a good move. Oh, God. Nagulu, thank you for being a friend. And you're gonna do a Mystic Guard, alright? And you're hitting multiple targets. Not all of them, but you killed a, killed a couple, I think. I think I saw two crushed, uh... Notifications. Are you it? No. Nope. Remember, this is gonna go slower than the other ones, but we have to be close. Unless dying adds to the counter, which would be such a dick move. <laughs> just, a, just a dick move. I might dig it. I might dig it if every time you died it added to the spawn counter for this place, but I, I thought I totally dodged that. Yeah, let's go grab this. But yeah, I think I would only want that feature for these place on like chaos or insane mode, cause on hard, no. Right. Um, straight. Yeah, good job, Velvet. We've got a barrier ring. Alright, that's new. A ring that greatly raises art defense. Seems about right. All demons defeated. Haggler's Ace Right. Then, said it, what was that? It was like increase the amount of gold. Kind of went by it too fast. Are they here? It would be on a new. Yeah. Gives an increasing discount based on the number of specific items possessed. Alrighty then. Well, I guess let's head up to Benwick and head over to uh, Port Zexen, was it? We're done with these areas, right? If they have a picture, that means we've been to them, and every time I come to one of these places, I kill them. They all have pictures. Port Zexen it is. I was also informed to do, like, the, the final dungeon before I do, like, side quests. But, you know, we'll see what, what happens. So, what was it you needed to say to me alone? I love you. Where's Lafayette? He wanted to stand watch with me, but I forced him to get some rest. After all this fighting, he needs it. I owe you. That kid always tries to play the tough guy. To be fair, he's really strong. Just like the one who named him. He's nothing like me. His motivation comes from hope. Hope. The wind is nice. Yes, the world may teem with hardship and sadness, but it's also filled with beauty. The endless ocean, the islands in the south, I don't think the ocean's even endless. the frozen tundra and the mountains that spew fire. It is. And humans make their home among all that beauty. This is the world that Luffy it's not, always it's not learned very beautiful to travel. Scenery there. I finally understand what he saw when he sat looking out over the ocean. Eleanor, I have a single favor to ask of you. If anything happens to me, take care of Luffy. Said, "What is something the matter?" The power possessed by the Therians and Inominat is fundamentally the same. I have a theory. No, theory is too rational. 
A different part of me, something separate from my hatred, wants me to do something. It wants me to leave this world with hope. Wait, you don't mean... <laughs> Humor me, okay? If the worst happens, I'm counting on you. I mean, out of everyone in the party, her or Aizen are probably the ones to count on. You have my word. I'll look after Lafayette. I mean, Lafayette too. Well, I'd love to take advantage of this momentary. But he's weakness. a little kid. I can't. My oath is to obey your orders until my dying breath. Oh, you're one of <laughs> us. Get over it. I'd almost forgotten about all that. Good thing I kicked your butt after all. Actually, she kicked her butt like four or five times before I finally beat her. Yeah. Good thing this game doesn't have, like, <laughs> consequences for losing. I mean, it does, but just loading or retrying works. Well, the suppression field is gone. Whoa. And in its place, rampaging demons. Whoa. We expected that. Thanks. For everything. I only did what I felt like doing. Who needs thanks for that? Let's go. We have a fight to finish with the shepherd. All right. Uh, facing reality and a bunch of skits. Good lord, what? Okay. You know, Minot's power may have weakened, but I think that'll only cause more of a stir in the cities. Without the Abbey's exorcists, the people will have a hard time quelling demons. An impossible time? Are you I can't? I'm simply coming to terms with reality. I've learned to think for myself rather than let others do the thinking for me. It's painful and frightening, and comes with great responsibility. But this is who I am now. It's on me to own up, face my fears, and keep moving forward. You're a piece of work. But I don't mind having you around. Yeah, she's fun. <laughs> yes. I'm not weak like I used to be. No, you aren't. You don't have to bear the weight of the world alone, though. I understand that. I will do only what I can. You always say that, but then you end up overdoing it, right? If you push yourself to the limit and it's still not enough, there's no shame in relying on others. Says the right guy now. that would scream and charge at so his brother much. saying, well, I you gotta face him just alone. A demon, right? I'm aware of that. Rook is a nice guy sometimes. Hot-headed other times, but nice guy. All right, let's let's look at this for a second. Can I can I go to Reneed now? Oh my God! Okay, I can. Well, let's do these skits. We put all our faith in you because you said you could protect us. We endured all your harsh rules and laws. So how can you tell us you can't defeat the demons because you can't control Malakim anymore? We don't understand why we've lost the ability to control our Malakim. But even without my Malak arts, I will fight to my dying breath to protect all of you. Oh, it so saves please, us time. Calm down. <laughs> I'm not listening to anything the Abbey says anymore. What are you looking at? Yeah, you there. Mean looking guy. Get over here. I think I'll pass. Thanks. Hey, muscles, get back here. You are welcome to you. try to please make him. Stop. I understand that you're worried and upset, but now isn't the time to be fighting amongst ourselves. It Please, wouldn't be a fight if he tried. Let us stand together. Help us fight off the madness and the demons that threaten our world. <sighs> and if that's not good enough for you, you can face me instead. Guess I'm sorry. That exorcist has some serious backbone. Aye. Hey, he seems like a nice guy. Probably join the uh, Abbey to actually, like, save the world. Not all exorcists have lost their Malachim. Just stay calm and focus on your job. Um, I mean, I think most of them did, though. Hello? Talk to me. Speak! Hey, it's you! Uh, Moggy Lou's debauchery. Yeah, that's it's about right. It's menagerie. Mm. <laughs> I finally get a chance to see the famous Moggy Lou's menagerie. I've been waiting forever to meet up with you again. Meet up with us? Why? Well, with my bad luck, I've always just missed out on seeing your splendiferous performances. So, well, I made my own menagerie. The Abbey is a mess, and people everywhere are scared. Demons abound, and, well, everyone's so gloomy. 
So I thought that this is exactly the time when people need something fun and happy to lift their spirits. My troop is still in training, but we're almost ready. That's wonderful. That is wonderful. What do you Good call for you. Yourselves? I wanted something with power, impact. So behold, we are the Dark Wings. Dark Wings. Huh. Hey, what gives? That's a terrible reaction. You're trying to cheer people up, right? So why dark? And dark wings only make me picture crows. Or detective. Or bats, maybe. Really? When I think of the dark wings, I think comedy. Hmm. Maybe I should rethink this. Maybe you're oh, a little I bit disturbed. It. We'll be the dark smile. Just call yourself the dark carnival and get it Sounds over like with. Sounds like you've got a pretty dark sense of humor. You really want to go with such a dark-hearted name? Okay, fine. The dark magic. No, the dark circus. No, no, <laughs> that's no, close. That's no good. The darkest hour. The dark uh, night. Maybe you could try losing the dark part. Hmm. Good point. All right then. How about this one? The peddlers of joy. We don't accept solicitations. <sighs> fine, fine. Clever. Forget you. I made my decision. We're dark wing menagerie of comedy, and that's final. He really went all out. Still, you got zing, kid. Here's hoping you have many dark years to come. Magic Kazam! Thanks. That makes us rivals now, but still, from one entertainer to another, good luck. You are About not that in our Magic league. Kazam of yours? You only use that spell when you couldn't care less what happens, right? What this world needs now is a good dose of apathy. Am I right? <laughs> but here's hoping you have many dark years to come. That's not very nice at all, is uh, it? For her, it's nice. Magic Kazam! All right, are we done with that one? I can lose Menagerie, talk to a promoter, and Stoneberry. Okay. Just one more skit here. Then I guess we can go get the doll. And then we can go talk to... Videl, seeing how I think I've been trying to talk to him for like the past... 15 hours, it seems? Maybe? Probably longer? I can't get my hands on nectar or a good drink anymore, but thanks to that, I've finally seen the light. I tried drinking lots of different things to help cope with my cravings, and I discovered that a nice cup of tea really does the trick. You can't give kids the heavy stuff, but tea, kids, adults, you should the lose elderly, that drunken sailor can enjoy title it. unless That's he's like smashed right now. I'm thinking about using my life savings to open a tea shop filled with tea maybe, from all maybe over plan the world. it out a little bit rather than let ourselves get all worked up panicking over the demons. We'd be better off sitting down with a nice cup of relaxing tea. It'd be wonderful if you sold some tasty pies or cookies there too. Well, I'm just saying it's a glide. I need to find some baked goods that go well with tea. <laughs> maybe I can find a girlfriend while I'm at it. Well, good luck with that. Thanks. Yeah, Speaking one of those of which, seems impossible. We'll let you figure out which Sorry, one it is. I think I'll pass. <sighs> yeah, figured as much. Everyone's always hitting on Eleanor. You got anything new here? No? Yes? No, this says new, but it's not new. Alright, so we're done with the skits here. Let's go to... Wait, where is the... No. Uh, da, 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 collect that one. Where is that one? That is in Stoneberry. So there's two things we can do in Stoneberry. Yeah, we also need to go to Yelts Dock and back to the Shrine of Tranquility, but let's do Stoneberry first. We'll talk to Videl next time, and we'll head to the um, Shrine. There's skits. There's going to be like a lot of skits in every place we go to. That I mean, that's fine. What is that? Oh, hi. At last, the Nordal set is complete. Turtles! Turtles! Just in time for the win, it circles! Your detective skills truly put mine to shame! Everything of ours it puts you to shame. It wouldn't have taken so much time and effort if you'd been willing to help us look. But you'll make it up to us with a suitable discount next time we trade. Just give me your <laughs> items! Can't you give me a break? Nose! Never mind. Do you have anything for us? I do mind that! But yeah, here's another letter for Aizen. Another one? I will keep this missive short as my patience with you has expired. Come to the prison island and face your judgment. 
I will not blame you if you run, but I will consider you a heartless coward of a brother. Oh, this sounds like a challenge to a fight. Now we're talking my language. Let's get going. Whoever this is, they're just trying to get under your skin. Why not let it go? Or crush and move us with on? boulders, one or the this other. This is the third letter, not counting any that might not have reached us. I say we should go nip this in the bud. Yeah, I think so too. If we just keep ignoring it, something might happen to Aizen's sister. Exactly. I can't allow that. I want to head to Titania and settle things. I will, we'll, we'll do that. Challenge the Aizen. Green Nordahl. We're... Okay. Let's go here? Yeah. Ooh, how much were you? 200. Oh, close. Hello. We were hoping we could put on a comedy act here. Sure, but... Who's your partner? Me. Oh, oh yes! I think you'll be the worst of any of them. You just underestimate me. I have my own sense of humor. Just act like we're both aboard the Von Eltia. I already have a bad feeling about this. There's right. no way it could you be can worse than the You play the strong, always. forceful type, and I'll be the dumb, slow one who... No. I want to play the dumb character. <laughs> Are you sure you can handle that? I'll have everyone dying from laughter the way only a Reaper can. I don't think I like oh, where this is going. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Let's just watch and see if I'm right about this. Hi there. We're your friendly comedy duo, Death by Laughter. Magic Kazam! Huh? He just stole my line. <laughs> Thank you all for coming here to see us today. Now, when you think of Rakugo, you of course think of classic characters like Hatsuan, Kumasan, Oyasan. I have no idea who and those are. And there's the neighborhood retiree, and Yotaro the fool who. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold it! What are you rambling on about? Does it matter? I'm just trying to get a feel for the audience. Every comedian does it. Not anymore. Speed is key nowadays. Speed! You need to be snappy and get straight to the point. Well, I object. Comedy that forgets the old classics has no future. What's old is tired. Comedy is always evolving. It has to. <laughs> you must be some new wave type then. <laughs> Did you just click your tongue at me? No. <laughs> you totally did! I heard that! I'm the leader here, and don't you forget it! If you respect comedy, then respect my authority! Respect my authority! Alright, as long as you understand. Now, what are you thinking of doing today? I was thinking of maybe... imitating a clock. Take this anymore, you're impossible. <laughs> oh, nice pose. Whew. It's been a while since I worked so hard. We really tried to practice so the jokes would land. How do you think it went? Your jokes were hilarious, okay, you're right. I suppose. But your partner was so intimidating. I couldn't laugh. Well, you were the only huh? one. Did you hear well, the crowd? I can't say I'm surprised. God, what a, what a man, bad taste in comedy, that guy. Every time this time of year comes around, know it all. I can't help but think back on that terrible accident. What, your Can birth? Can you tell us about it? This was all quite a long time ago, but a carriage transporting suspects to a heresy trial fell down a ravine. I was the one who first found them, and let me tell you, it was a nasty sight. Oh, right. I remember hearing about this. Well, these were people who'd made a killing running dodgy shows, so their luck might have just caught up with them. Did anybody survive? Apparently not, but I heard there was one body they never found. Right. She was a girl they'd made a part of their show. I heard they really abused her and forced her to work for them. I hope she managed to escape, but I don't know. There were rumors that a strange spirit saved her life, as if anyone could believe a story like that. Yeah, I heard that too. But the crash happened in the deep mountainside wilderness. It's much more likely that she was eaten by a beast. Metal. I'm surprised you know so much about it. It happened when I was still young. Exactly how old are you, Magilu? As old as my tongue and a little older than my teeth. <laughs> what? From your reaction, I can at least tell you're not my age. Well, we, we kind of already figured she was like old because of the whole missing legget thing, right? 
What are she you had the idea doing? to build a great bell tower and make it the symbol of what our town. You padding we'll make the tower out of stone, tall and proud. Then we'll hang the biggest bell in the land here. The wind whistling down from the mountains will carry the sound far, far away. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Yeah, it sounds great. Where are you going to quarry the stone? The stone we get from the mountains near here is dense and smooth. Perfect for constructing buildings with. You know your rocks. When I was deciding on where and what to farm here, I spent a lot of time researching the nearby geology. Not only does she have the knowledge, she has a great logical mind. She's been a terrific help in getting this plan off the ground. And he's got the good ideas. But he tends to leap before he looks. Don't do that. Since Leaves I don't accents. get flashes of insight like he does, he's given me all sorts of ideas for improving my farm. Now we're trying to find the perfect metal for the bell. The metals and their ratios used when casting the bell will change its sound what the hell dramatically, is that town's right? name? That's right. We're testing all sorts of alloys, trying to find one that produces a smooth, pleasing sound. I hope you can find a sound that will soothe the hearts of those both near and far. It's like the third one starting... Lady of... Yeah, I think it was like the third town we were able to go to. It had a big, like mansion with a bell on it i think maybe and it had a giant tree can't think of the name old yeah, man I still have a long way to go before i oh right my you i forgot about you but i did discover something useful already if you steep the radish bells in barley wine the poison is denatured leaving behind a hearty flavor sounds like snake wine exactly that's where i got the idea so can I get a taste of your new concoction? Don't tell me I have to wait 50 years for this one, too. I just started brewing it up. It should be ready after the summer. But my intuition is telling me to let it sit for four years. In that case, we'll come back next autumn. Make sure to save enough for two. Nah, two won't be enough. I want to treat the whole crew. How much can you make by then? I've already prepped three large barrels. If I push, I could probably ready another seven. Great. Make them. I'll pay for all seven, and we'll split five barrels in the autumn. What? And we'll come for the other two in four years' time. Right, Eisen? No. We'll only take one more. The last one is yours to sell as the town's specialty. Oh, thank you. I'll make sure it's delicious. That's assuming Looking we live. Looking forward to it. All right. There's one more. Okay, it's at the inn, which is down here. Might as well see that before we end the episode. We've lost contact with both the army and the abbey. Something huge must be going down. Luckily, Stoneberry can fight for herself. We'll shore up the defenses and manage somehow. Right, we're in this together. I'm glad you're with us. Oh, that's nice. I'm afraid we've no beverages, beverages left, but we do have beds you can rest in. Thank you. Benwick told me that you can mop the floor with the water you've used for washing rice, and it'll make the wood shiny. Is that true? It is. Just Not don't do it in reverse it order. Clean, it'll put on a layer of rice brown oil at the same time. Two birds with one stone. Wow, that's awesome. I didn't know that. Yeah, rice water has a lot of uses. The first time you use a new earthenware pot, boil rice water in it, and you'll extend its lifespan. And if you use it when you're rehydrating dried fish, it'll tenderize it and take away the fishy smell too. And if you water plants with it, it acts as a fertilizer. It's really useful stuff. Sounds like it. Wow, look at you, Velvet. Maybe I could see you with a family after all. You don't have to act so surprised. Still, I've never read that in any of my books before. How did you end up learning all that? I learned from Salika, who learned it from our mom. It's just been passed down across the family. Wow! What else did you learn from your sister growing up? Selica taught me everything our mom knew about cooking, from the basics to more advanced techniques. Speaking of which, rice water is really useful when cooking, too. If you use it to boil radishes, it'll get rid of their bitter taste. I actually when you don't use think I've ever had a radish or before. I must have. Roots, they'll soften and take on a nice I've white had. color. My mother taught Selica that anyone who threw away rice water wasn't qualified for housework, and my sister passed it on to me, too. What a weird family you know uh, tradition. Not the teaching thing, but the w rice water thing. When you need to make a child eat their vegetables, it'll go over better if you can cook them tender and not so bitter. I bet you'd make a pretty good mom one day, Velvet. You really think so? 
Actually, since you're here, Bienfu, I have to ask. Those are discarded vegetables on your tray there, aren't they? Yeah, but they're just raw scraps left over from cooking. Ah, uh, you can I use that for stock. To throw them out just now. What are you talking about? That's all still good stuff you can use. Look at those radish <laughs> leaves. Dice them up, fry them in oil, add soy sauce, cooking wine, bonito flakes, and sesame seeds, and voila! A perfectly healthy topping for rice. And that potato skin? If you wipe the inner side on a mirror, it won't fog up. Put some salt on those lemon rinds, and you can use them to scrub a wash basin sparkling clean. Holy cow, Velvet! You're a treasure trove of knowledge! You know what's been bothering me? These pirates are way too wasteful with their food. You're bringing that up so now. We are almost 60 hours into and this you game. You might be getting a little carried away here. Yeah. I think you've made the jump from potential mom to bothersome in-law. <laughs> Ooh. Run, hide. That was a cute cutscene. I like that cutscene. Or skit. Whatever you want to call it. Is that it for the skits? Yes, it is, and that means it, it. that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press the like button below if you're not subscribed yet. When you head to my video, so I can check out some other content and see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great day.